Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the 350Z build. First off, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that subscribed from our last video. We're tracking really well to hit that 500 mark. We're sitting about 300 now. So keep the subscriptions coming up, share it with your friends, and uh, yeah, let's hit that 500. If you haven't seen the last episode, we're actually doing a giveaway. So we buy, our goal is by end of July, we want to reach the 500 subscriber mark. And we're not too far away. Yeah. And we got like a lot of content planned up for July mm. as well. So make sure that if you haven't watched the episode, go watch it here or just subscribe right now. And uh, I think today we have quite a few things we want to talk about as well. And yeah. I'll show you guys some pretty cool ideas um, and really taking that budget bill to the next level. On the last episode, you guys saw we came up with a quick little list on what we want to do to improve the budget drift build. Number one, wheels and tires, done. Done. It looks super, super good. Yeah. We're right. really happy about it. I'm sure it's going to drip well. Yeah. And the second one is the hydraulic hum hum brick. What's the second one? <laughs> second one is the hydraulic handbrake. And the last one is wheel alignment. Okay. On, top <laughs> <laughs> on top of all this, I really have another good idea. I'll start again. Start again. Yeah. We'll cut from there. We can cut from there. Yeah, you no, can, no, no. You can keep it rolling. You can, yeah. Start at your leisure, yeah. sir. I want to improve the factory steering angle. Obviously, um, there's quite good kits in the market. Mm. There's um, Pashaw Max, there's White Fat for 350. Yeah. Uh, but I think the cost is a big factor. Yeah. So what's the best bang for buck improvement? I have thought of a way. <laughs> steering rack spaces. That's it. We used to do this all the time in the Silvias. Mm. Then mm. I thought, why don't we do the same thing with the 350Z? Yeah, and I think it will help heaps. It doesn't need a lot more. It doesn't need that big angle kit. But just a, a little Look, bit more. That's gonna help it so much more. It's gonna help it heaps. So. Yeah. So if you guys don't know about steering rack spaces, they are here. So this is all you need. Those two things. Mm. They much. How does it work? So basically, okay. how do they work? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so this is stage one. That's any stage drifter. one. For yeah. Anybody. This is my best friend when I start drifting. Yeah. So now we're fitting this in and then we do a view alignment. Mm. Cool, let's go. Cool. Cool, so we've got our tie rod end and our rack end out. Did you know that it's the same thing, really? Who knows? So we've got our rack end out, and what we want to do is chuck our little spacer here on the threaded piece, which goes back into the rack. Now this is going to give us a little bit more length on our rack end, which will give us a little bit more lock. So that's all achieved by this little spacer here. So let's chuck it together, get the other side done, and see how much lock we get. Bryce already fit in those spaces, as you guys can see. And I'll quickly show you guys what it looked like. Because the spaces are added at the back of the steering rack, so Bryce is currently underneath the car, he's gonna adjust this toe, making this wheel flat, so to match that masking tape. And then we're gonna try to measure how much angle we are getting from the spacer. Is that right, Bryce? Yeah, that sounds about right. How's that looking now? Um, okay, so we act literally doing the wheel alignment like this, eh? Yeah. Okay, we're doing the wheel alignment on in, on the camera. So we need more toe out. So this this is not the final wheel alignment. So we're gonna just eye it and just measure the angle, and we're gonna take it up the road, get a proper wheel alignment. Yeah. I think this is a success. It's gonna make the drifting so much better. I think it's gonna be heat. But better. I really want this on the ground because. You guys can see that line here was the original angle, mm. and now the wheel is this way. Uh, definitely more, way but, more, but how much more? Uh, well, moment of truth. How much more angle? 
before before we do that, actually, let's, let's measure it now. Yeah, yeah. What's the angle we have at the moment? So budget drill field needs budget tools. So we got this protractor from the local stationery store. Stolen off a kid. Yeah. So this actually <laughs> and then budget to the build. Ninety nine cents. No. <laughs> That's an expensive one too, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, twenty bucks for the spaces. Remember that. So we pretty much at thirty. I would say we have thirty one degrees angle when we have the factory lock so let's see how much more angle do we have now whoa i'm not sure if you guys can see there's smaller gap here bigger gap at the back that means we have more angle hold that steering wheel full lock i'll put a masking tape down so we already measured th the first angle is about 31 31 42 so 12 degrees is it 12 degrees i don't know math 42 well at least 10 right yeah. 11 let's say let's call it 11 bro science yeah well, that's sweet bro that's science <laughs> 11 degrees angle from that 20 bucks spacer yeah that's heaps more wow and you you couldn't tell because it's like so small we're measuring here but yeah. if you like look at the whole wheels it's actually is a lot more yeah I'm stoked about that. Yeah, 20 bucks. 20 bucks, 10 more degrees angle. Bang for buck, now we go and uh, get ourselves an actual wheel alignment, not a bro wheel alignment. Really can't wait so we can actually drive the mm. car with that, I'm sure with 10 more degrees angle, it's gonna drift better. Yeah, I think, I think it would be way, way better. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Sweet. let's go for a wheel alignment. Stand alive. <laughs> We need a pretty basic wheel alignment. Uh, no camera in the front, no camera adjustment in the front, sorry. Uh, no caster adjustment in the front either. So what we want to do is get a little bit more toe out on the front to help it when we're dripping. Uh, probably square off the toe in the rear and then uh, kind of just leave the camera where it is. Exercise. I'm done telling you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to. This is the episode number six. Is it number six? It is number six. Six right. episodes. Don't, Don't want to have to go. Don't want to have to tell them again. <laughs> but know. some people just click the sixth one. <laughs> yeah. You know. You never know. Okay. So the big win today is mm. we got ten more degrees of steering angle, which yeah. is huge. Massive. Um, like out of twenty dollars. Out of twenty bucks, got ten degrees. So that's five dollars a side. Bang for buck. Yep. And five dollars aside? <laughs> five degrees aside? No. Not really. No, five degrees aside. Because you get the whole ten degrees on one way. I don't yeah. Yeah. You make way yeah. more sense than I do. <laughs> yeah, ten degrees angle, I'm super happy about it. What about you? The five degrees per side. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> that does, doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So we got ten degrees <laughs> per side, not five degrees per side. As so. soon as you said that, I was like, yeah, no. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're super, we super, super, super stoked about. Like, there's so many supers. In no, there. so many supers. Yeah. But we're pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, because it's twenty dollars, ten more degrees. Yeah, it can't be that. And mm. super, super, super stoked about the twenty dollars upgrade. Um, so steering rack spaces, that's a success. Yeah, and we haven't thought about it before. Mm. It just came through our mind, and we really want to do it, yeah. and we got it done. Yeah. Um, the next. Thing on the list is hydraulic handbrake. Yeah, right. We've done a wheel alignment. Yep. It's pretty easy. Thanks to our buddy yep. Reed. And uh, hydraulic handbrake is going to be done next episode with this guy. Uh, and we've got that that kit from what are they called? Pasha Max. Pasha Max. <laughs> so we got that kit from Pasha Max. 
Which, and a diagram. And a diagram which makes the plumbing super, super easy. So We need this. We, we definitely oh, yeah. need this. <laughs> Excellent. So hydraulic handbrake. Yep. Extra steering lock. Yep. Um, good suspension. Yep. Diff that works. Yep. And a great drift car, most yep. importantly. Yeah. So at $8,000 New Zealand. And I really can't wait for Ace. We will really take this car mm. for a drift. I think that's next level. I think we're just gonna battle. Uh, my car versus your car? I'm, it's on, bro. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Sweet. Then yeah. uh, on the eight. SR with what we what's, what's our engine? VQ35. NA versus Turbo. We pick your side. <laughs> pick your side now. Right. So, once again, if yep. you haven't subscribed our channel, make sure you do it now. The link is in the description. And we're also doing this draw for give away our Drift Academy Drift 101 course on the 12th of August. Subscribe our channel, uh, reach 500 subscribers by end of July. Yep. And we need your help. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. See Thanks you guys watching. next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.